I will keep telling this story for as long as I live and when I was growing up I was very impressionable. I believe I was about between 10 and 13 something like that. I saw in the newspapers back then that there was this American who was a millionaire and he was touring the world. He landed in Kenya at some point in time and uh, he was having his vacation and so on. And so the journalists went and they interviewed him and they were talking to him and they to- he was talking about his monies and so on. And then he swore. I saw in his uh, in his testimony on the newspaper he said I will never give my money to an African I cannot do that. I worked hard for this money. It is my money. I'm going to spend it all. Oh well. We are talking about fulfillment in life, and I sure do hope that that millionaire was fulfilled. Today, let us add one more thing into the mix and stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. There's a graphic I saw on Facebook that is very extremely sobering. In this graphic apparently there's this guy who has made it to the next world and he is loaded in the very sense of the word he is carrying loads of cash and they're just flowing out of his suitcase. And he gets to the gates of where he's supposed to be going and there is someone who is to usher him into the next level of eternity. And on the right side there is a lot of junk and I'm not talking just about junk in a bad way there's a lot of accumulations that has been laid aside huh where people who have gone before this man have left them at the door at the entrance and this man was ha- having hordes of cash in his hands of course it's a g- graphic depiction and and so on it's someone's imagination and he was told put that stuff you've come up with here on that level and leave them there and then he was being ushered into the next level of his life in eternity it gives us perspective of the things that we fight for on a daily basis i remember hearing the story of a guy i don't know if it's a if it's an astronaut I, i can't remember one of these people who normally have this out of body experience you know those guys who normally have de- they they die sometimes they die and then they go into the next world this is guy who was telling a story where he was having his an out of body experience huh where he was being taken up and he saw this earth of ours receding and minute in his eyes to a dot and it looked so pitiful that this is the thing we are fighting for in the view of eternity and in the view of the next life this is that dot is the thing we are fighting for we kill for that dot i mean oh wait a minute is that all there is in life and that reminds me of a day that i was huggling around in the National Hospital in Nairobi where my brother was admitted with kidney failure and those were the days that we had these phones i mean the advent of cell phones had just come in smartphones were not even invented by then we had these cell phones where if you wanted to type uh, dear you have to press to press the keystrokes more than 20 times to get a character or to get some kind of word but we were excited that we had arrived imagine <laughs> and then guess what happened to me someone stole that phone 
in the lift in the hospital someone pickpocketed it huh and there are guys who go to that hospital specifically to pry on people whose minds are elsewhere and not on their possessions not on their belongings and they steal from them for what purpose i mean for what reason that guy who stole from me that Nokia phone, Nokia, by the way, Nokia 1100, you stole that phone from me. Where are you now? Are you fulfilled? I mean, did, did, did you arrive? What value did it add to you in that moment in time? It might have added you. Maybe you might have sold it for some few Kenya shillings. But in the view of eternity, in the view of fulfillment, what was that? It was absolutely useless. So when we come to life, of fulfillment <laughs> we've got to be very careful and i know i've said this like a broken record things commodities tangibles are not necessarily going to be what are going to make us to have authentic fulfillment it is not about the things we accumulate now listen There is nothing wrong with things. I am not saying this so that I can give people excuses not to be prosperous in some way materially. Material prosperity is a good thing. It is a good thing to drive a car to church than to walk to church. Can I hear an amen? And I'm not preaching. It is a good thing to take a flight okay, and go on vacation. It is a good thing to have those things. But... They are not it. They are not what are going to make us to be fulfilled in our lives. And in the view of having things, I have said it's okay to accumulate. It's okay to have a top, top-notch top phone. It's okay to have a, a top-notch podcast studio. It's okay to have a top-notch house. It's okay to have a top range of uh, uh, whatever car. It's okay to have all these things. It is nice. It's fine. But they are not it. It is okay to have those things, but it is not okay for those things to have us. There's a guy called the Apostle Paul who said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know what he said? Why he said that that, that stuff? He was not talking about, you know, he can be a doctor, he can be a missionary, he can be an engineer. No, 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 no. He was not talking about vocation. He was talking about living a life both of not having and of having a life of deprived scarcity and a life of abundance he could live in those two scenarios and it's okay it's fine that man had discovered the secret of fulfillment it is not in things <laughs> things must not have you so this american friend of ours this american millionaire i don't remember his name i was very young those days maybe i would have taken up his name and i would have researched him and maybe the internet was not even there but i would have researched him i am not so sure if this man was fulfilled if he's still alive or is fulfilled at the very sense of the word fulfillment fulfillment is something that i cannot necessarily explain but you will know it it is a personal thing you can do everything all the gymnastics there are on earth there is this guy called solomon and he tells us the same thing he said i tried this i tried to sleep with as many women as possible i tried to go to have as much pleasure as possible i did all these things under the sun i experimented and i discovered one thing meaningless meaningless everything is meaningless you know why he said that he said that if we lack perspective on the way fulfillment comes in life and one of the ways that fulfillment comes in life ladies and gentlemen it is when we are not selfish we were given this world and actually this world belongs to us the the scripture says that the heavens belong to god but the earth he has given to the sons of men it is ours so it's okay to have the helicopters and i know it is controversial because we're having preachers raising money so that they can buy jets that's that's okay if you can take money out of your pocket and go and buy a jet fine i mean awesome cool it is fine it is okay to do all that stuff but at the end of the day if we are going to be fulfilled 
it is not going to happen when we are stingy selfish self-centered and focused only on ourselves me i me and i me my wife and i me my kids and i only focused on ourselves you will know it my friend and by the way you've already experienced this one of the highest feelings you ever got it was when someone was in need and you came through for them and you were actually able to do it and you did not post on social media jesus said you see those guys who normally display their acts of kindness Huh? For everyone to see, believe me, they have received their reward. Your reward is when people like you on Facebook and on social media and on Instagram and they give you those hearts and so on and so forth. It is fleeting. That's why tomorrow you want another like. Huh? You want another comment and so on. But you get this sense of fulfillment when you can be able to contribute to society. You can be able to have use your gifts and your talents and your skills and your will to help someone who is in distress and no one even sees it you get so unexplainably fulfilled so if you are going to be a fulfilled human being on the face of the earth you need to be someone who is impacting other people not just giving I mean, not just focusing on elevating the needs of other people, but actually using your own life to be an impact to society. You will be fulfilled 100%, more than 100%. And that fulfillment is addictive. You cannot have enough of it. And once you've tested it, you can never go back to the other kind of fulfillment that is actually fleeting where you're depending on a helicopter ride to feel that you've arrived where you're depending on the losses of other people in a competition so that you can feel that you're better than them no even if you lose a race you lose a contract you lose this and you lose that fulfillment is not attached to things it is attached like i'm saying in doing things that impact other people positively if you're going to help people uh, how i know i always dream of this by the way a dream and i know maybe when i'm saying this probably it's not for fame but anyway i dream of walking into a rural school or whatever school it is in 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 uganda and i get a list from the proprietor of the school and there's a list of kids who are struggling to pay school fees and the next thing they hear is their school fees for the year is cleared by an anonymous donor ah you guy i mean that's okay well that's one of my biggest dreams by the way you walk into a hospital ward there are very many families that are my friend on die and some of them are actually praying to god god come through for us help us pay this bill and i can be god's answer to those families i walk into that ward or into that hospital and i get the details and i pay it all and i vanish through the thin air not wanting movies to be shot about me and you know to appear on the news no that's not my 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 call that's not my motivation my motivation is to help the people who are in distress in life if you and i are going to be fulfilled we are going to be of necessity focusing on other people than we are focusing on ourselves <laughs> i cannot explain how joyous the fulfillment is when your treasure is not in things but when your treasure is in helping other people where your heart is bubbling in helping other people being someone of impact to society being a giver being a solution provider and i do believe i have this uncanny feeling this belief that every human being is a solution provider and i know when i say that you might say okay but if we all of us are solution providers then who is going to help who okay who is going to be helped listen we are not all in a constant need of help 
and maybe the help that we need varies from one season to another today i might be needing help of someone to just get me out of the doldrums tomorrow i might be needing help of someone to connect me to a ceo or something of that nature and that ceo might be in need of me to help them in something that i've invented so we are all created to give value to people on earth and the more we do that the more we keep giving value the more we keep being solution providers the more we keep getting fulfilled so i'm challenging us today in life let us not just focus on being happy accomplishing goals let us focus on being fulfilled and that will give us some perspective in how we're going to live our lives you find that the goals that you are setting for this decade they are not goals that are going to make you fulfilled there could be some deeper higher more valuable goals that you can be able to set because you're having fulfillment in your crosshairs i'm talking about long term fulfillment in your crosshairs you you understand what i'm saying so we need to we need to decide on the kind of goals that we are going to set on the kind of life that we are going to attract in our lives it has to be a life of fulfillment and you will know by the way you will know when the fulfillment is there you will know in fact even as you are setting those goals you will know you will see the feelings being generated in your heart the feelings of fulfillment even before you can accomplish the goal itself I hope this is making some sense to you and we are going to keep talking about this message in the podcasts that are going to follow until tomorrow bye bye a special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast thank you jeff thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com life signatures radio fresh clean and inspiring